which was an old freezer. It doesn't work anymore. But it's an ideal uh, type of uh, environment if you put the right nutritional stuff in it. So we put green grass, leaves, we put bananas and banana peels, and we put cow dung and wood chips. Now this, this was compost that we put in like in September, not compost, but cow dung and, and uh, hay and food uh, uh, cuttings and leaves and things like that. And it's composted. It has a lot of worms in it. You can see it was, there's one right here on the surface because we just planted this with the fenugreek, with the meti. So uh, we made this ourselves. Uh, from September and now it's it's uh, March middle of March it's already pretty well composted it could it could be composted more but it, it's good enough and let's, we're gonna see how it grows we, we, we just put the fresh fenugreek seeds in there so here's a new worm bin we bought some uh, cuttings from the uh, temple and here we have some maple leaves. Below that we have some uh, uh, potato peels, we have some bananas, we have green grass. Below that we have uh, cow dung. And below that we have the uh, wood chips. And now and these are uh, yellow dock leaves. They have, they have a lot of iron in them. Now we just put all these worms that we just picked in, in from some other place where they were, they were uh, born. And, and we're going to let them have fun now. they got plenty of nutrition here. So hopefully one month from now, I mean, we'll keep filling this with more cow dung and more leaves and other things. And, and especially... Uh, vegetable cuttings from the uh, temple so one one month from now we'll take a look at it two months from now we'll take a look at it every once in a while we add some water also and this protects the the worms from outside predators rats other things birds and also it keeps them warm not too warm but it'll keep them warm so they won't get they if it freezes then they stop uh, eating just hibernate so we don't want them to hibernate we want them to work 24 hours a day so that is composting in an old freezer yes 